everyone, it's Ashley from Plaid Lattes, and I'm going to do my makeup, um, and let's see if I chat along or not. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video where I'm talking in it, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but I'm going to try out a new foundation today. It's the Revlon Candid um, foundation. I just picked it up at Target today, and then I'm going to play with some of my favorite makeup products so let's get into this um yeah let me put some eye cream on this is the tasha tasha on um, the silk peony um i got some this from influencer um i like using it before applying concealer and stuff i don't find it's like my favorite eye cream ever but but like before makeup and the day I don't mind it at all. Would I repurchase it or purchase it? Probably not. Um, there's other eye creams I like better, but I'm not mad at using it up at all. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Tula, and this is the 25, 24/7 um, moisture moisturizer. And I got this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty this March. Love that sale. Just watching this card is like it's lost outside. Sometimes it's distracting to be in front of my window. But I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Oh, broke it out on my chin from wearing having to wear um face mask all the time now. My face has been breaking out on my chin. So that has been fun. So I've been pulling out my acne products. I need to pull out my frankincense and mix that in with my moisturizer tonight. It's been a while since I've done that. All right. Um, do I want to do a primer? I do want to do a primer. Let me pull my primer out. Okay. I can't have my chair up <laughs> and pull out my drawer. All right. So for primer, I'm going to use the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. Um, I really like this. I bought this in January. Excuse me. It was on sale. And I found it a few months ago at TJ Maxx for like um, 10 bucks. So I bought it back up because I'm almost out of this. And I knew it was one of those primers I would um, use up and would want to have again. Um, so I repurchased it when I could find it for a really good price. But I just mostly use this um, in the T-zone, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, but not that much. I don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead because I find that it creases and doesn't always stick very well on my forehead. So I usually keep most product in this area, which is where most people want their coverage anyway. Okay. I think we're gonna do foundation next. So I got the shade 110 Porcelain, and let's see how this goes. It looks pretty. It looks like a good match for me. Do I want to use a sponge or a brush? I think I'll apply it with a brush and then maybe blend it out with a sponge. So I'm just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dome Kabuki brush, um, which was gifted to me um, by the Anastasia team here in Indy. And I freaking love this brush. I highly recommend you buy it. It was in my um, June favorites post, and I feel like I've mentioned it a couple times on my blog since getting it in March. Well, February. It's February. The videos I did from went live in March. Hmm. Not that bad. It's not super high coverage, but I feel like in the summertime you don't want anything that's really um, thick or heavy. And it's a natural finished anti-pollution foundation. There's no SPF in this, but it doesn't really matter today. Because I'm not really going to be going outside anymore. And it has anti-blue light. And it's oil free. I'm not mad at it. Okay. 
and then we're going to use the It Cosmetic Perfect Light Radiant Touch Magic Wand Concealer Radiant Light. It's like a peachy pink to help color correct. Any dark circles. So we'll just put it a little bit here. I feel like there's other products that get the job done. So you don't have to pay for this. But I was able to get it on a really good deal at Macy's online. Um, back in like, I think it was April or March. And there we go. And then I'm going to apply my concealer. And I use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And I am in this shade Cream. It took me way too long to read that. And I love this concealer. I wasn't sure at first, but the more I use it, the more I love it. Like, I haven't touched my shape tape since I've used that. I'll just press it in with my kabuki brush. I find that it does, a, it does a good job of concealing and brightening. I haven't used this one in a while. I haven't decided yet if I think it's worth the hype. But it's this Dark Tilbury Airbrush Polish Finish Powder. I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in. I don't know if it's just the combo of this with the concealer doesn't work. Or for me... I feel like there's other powders I like more. But I also haven't used it a t enough to like fully know. Now let's do blush. So for blush, I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Blush in Rose Latte. Love, 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 love this blush. love the effect it gives and how natural it looks. I have another shade of this. It's like the strawberry, I think, or watermelon. But I love the rose latte one so much that I never use it. The rose latte is like my go-to. It's like a brown nudie rose. And I love that colorway right now. Especially for summer. And fall. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay. Now we're going to do a bronzer and contour, which I did together. Um, I use the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. Um, I bought this on the whim. Did this for a VIB sale. Um, I was able to snag it one of the times it restocked for a few hours. And I just mixed this gray tone contour with the bronzer shade. And... Just go on my forehead and cheekbones. And this is why I like that rose latte shade because it helps with like that sun bronze look. I'm gonna brush my nose my nose a bit. I have also discovered that I favor this side when doing makeup that I don't always do this side. I have no idea why. Like I will spend more time blending on this side and applying on this side and like will forget this side. And I have no idea why I do that. Or how long I have been doing that. Because I don't know. For our eyes we're going to keep it really simple. I'm going to use the color pop. Um, Super Shock Shadow in Truth. And I'm going to it. Starting to dry out. The e.l.f. Bite Side Eyeshadow in Rose Water. And I'm going to use this taupey shade in my crease.
Rose Water has probably been my most used of the $3 palettes. I have three of them. And I feel like it's the one I pull out the most. And it's mostly because of that taupey shade. Because I'm a sucker for taupes. Any like purpley taupey color. I will use it up until I hit complete pan. I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes where that shade is like completely gone. And then I am going to add a little bit of cream highlight using the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in Sunbeam. This was a whim purchase because I had a return of product at Ulta. And I just decided to try this out with my refund. And I've come to really like it. First I wasn't sure, but I find it for cream products. I find that the more I use it, the more I will grow to like it once I get used to it. Because for the longest time I wasn't using cream products. I was mostly just using powders, pressed powders, because I'm not a huge fan of loose powders. But I'm really liking cream right now. I want to try the Fenty Cream Bronzer um, when my shade will come back in stock. I want to try that. For brows, it is my typical. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I'm not sure which. That's my one that I used up. I need to throw that away. But um, I use medium brown and then I use a little bit of soft brown in the front part and then fade out into medium brown. Um, I learned this trick when I was getting my brows done at Anastasio Brow Condom in Nordstrom at the Keystone Fashion Mall. I need to get the Anastasio Brow um, Stencil because I really like how my brows looked after they used that. And I haven't been able to fully like recreate my brows of how I did them. But eventually I do want to go back to pay to get them done by them. And that's a big thing coming for me because like I never paid to have my brows done. Even when I worked at Ulta and I had a 50% off discount, I didn't do it. But I've come to learn how important brows are as I've gotten older. But I feel like there's always things in the beauty that you learn to appreciate the older you get. For me, brows is one of them. Okay, now we're going to use the spoolie side and brush through. And then we're going to take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which is like hairspray for your brows. Um, no other brow gel is as good as this. It is totally worth it. Just brush my um, brows hairs up. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use this new Marc Jacobs one um, that I was got sent from Influencer. It is amazing. Expensive, but amazing. I think I'll do one of my favorite combos. So it's the Charlotte Tilbury the Low Toke Lip Liner. You know I love them when it's super tiny. Like I sharpened it down to this. And then I'm gonna use the Fenty um, Balm Gloss. In Fenty Glow. So pretty. So 
them. Let's use that. And setting spray. So for setting spray, we're just gonna use the Shake and Glow Lumi Dewy Mist. Usually pretty much do a variation of this every day um, it's like my favorite go-to look um, you use pretty much the same products every day just will change switch up which eyeshadows I use or foundation highlighter and eyeshadow are pretty much the main thing I will switch up but yeah I really like it I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye everyone <laughs>